We're out here at Cedar Creek Lake today in Lincoln County. This is a department-owned lake. We got a call that there was a car in the water. We're using new equipment to ultimately get the car out of the water. There's a marker behind me of a buoy um, that we've marked that has the GPS coordinates of where the car has been located. The equipment we're using today is a towfish sonar, um, which allows us to GPS plot everything and take pictures as we're going through the water and cover a bigger area. There it is. This program we use allows us to plot everything and it allows us to ping, put a, take a picture of each thing. So right here, we've got a picture of the edge of the boat ramp with GPS coordinates. And then you can see is these little red dots are each image I just took of a car. Everything in the water puts off a shadow. So we're able to look from different angles to see, yeah, that is confirming that it's a car or a body or stump or whatever. And it allows us to be able to get all these points. And then it gives us a GPS coordinate of it to where we can go and type it in on our phone and then drop a marker on it. And it's gonna get us in a real close area of that object to whether we run deploy the ROV or we have to send divers down. In this case today, we're gonna send a set of divers down. We're getting ready to deploy the ROV. It's an underwater drone. It has multiple propellers on it and a claw on it. It's gonna be ran off a generator. It has a big monitor on it, along with a computer that you use for the sonar equipment. There's a process to go through. You gotta run your cord to the ROV. There's a lot of little bitty things you gotta check before you can put it in the water and make sure everything works. We're gonna try to get a picture of the car up close and maybe try to get a license plate off of it if we're lucky enough and the water's clear enough. Uh, I'm on the road. There's the car. There it is. Once Taylor County gets set up, they're gonna follow that buoy marker down. We've got it attached to magnets at the end of it. They're gonna be able to follow that line down to the car. It's gonna help us utilize not wasting so much time. They're gonna hook up some straps and then take a cable out there from the tow truck and that way they can hook up to it and get the car out. This is just an easier way for us not to waste as much time with having divers constantly searching in the water. This equipment that we're using is allowing us to get that time factor down and not have the divers in the water as long on those hot summer days. This new equipment that we're training on and getting out in the field is gonna be able to help us be able to recover cars or other objects out of the lake in a timely manner. If we have that worst case scenario of a drowning, it'll allow us to go out there and recover that individual for their loved ones quicker by using this equipment to hopefully narrow down the areas that they are and go down and recover that individual or either get the car out in a timely manner once we know it's there and locate it. Yeah.